ADHDers, why are we still around? I'm Steve Gunson, the author of Dragonborn, the Mythology of ADHD. In 1993, Tom Hartman, an author and journalist, asserted an evolutionary theory regarding ADHDers. Hartman asserted that in 12,000 BC, humans were a hunter-gatherer species. And so the human brain was adapted to that hunter-gatherer lifestyle. But around 10,000 to 12,000 BC, things changed. The earth warmed and the soil softened and it allowed farming to happen more widely. They called this the Neolithic Renaissance or the Agrarian Revolution. From that time forward, humans became principally a farming species. Instead of chasing around and killing our next meal, we made the food come to us. And so the human brain adapted to become a farmer brain over several thousand years. In the modern era, we aren't so much farmers, but we do live in a world of industry. And the brain required for industry is the same brain that's required for farming, a brain of order and habit and ritual. Farming is a lot easier and safer than hunting. And so natural selection allowed the farming brain to proliferate, whereas the hunter or ADHD brain became less common. Fast forward to today and we are a minority. We're a minority who sometimes finds it difficult to live in a farmer's world. Well, it's been 10,000 years now. Isn't that enough time for the hunter or ADHD brain to go extinct? Now, I'm not an evolutionary biologist, but I asked AI that question. And AI said 10,000 years was enough time for the ADHD brain to go extinct. Then again, maybe natural selection is preserving us for some non-hunting reason. After all, most of us aren't doing any hunting. And this is exactly the question that Tom Hartman asked in his book. He asked, what is it about ADHDers that's being preserved? He was suggesting that we must have some inherent value. Now in that book, Hartman didn't answer that question. ADHDers, if we can answer that question, then we can establish a narrative about our purpose. That answer will give us an identity. Through the process of evolution, almost every human being has lost their tail. Why haven't we lost the ADHD brain? I will attempt to answer this in my next two videos. Stay tuned.